how to make an explosion vector art image in DaVinci Resolve 18.1.4. Inside your projects edits window, go to effects, underneath toolbox select effects, and go to click and drag a fusion composition edit to your timeline. Right click on your new fusion composition clip and go to open in fusion page. Inside the fusion nodes area, Go to add a polygon node from just below the Fusion Preview section. Select either the left or right view options underneath your new polygon node to see a preview of the explosion shape that you will create above the Fusion timeline. Hold and Shift and press L to select the Linear option. Click once towards the edge of your preview screen away from the middle to create your point, and then click a second time towards the side towards the center point to create the depth of each of the points of your explosion shape. Repeat this process all the way around and click on your original point to make a connection so that all lines are linked together and that you have a solid white color filling in your explosion shape. Avoid clicking and dragging your mouse cursor when inserting each of your points to avoid adding curvature to any of your lines and keeping them straight throughout. Deselect your polygon node by clicking anywhere on the empty nodes grid and go to add a background tool from the nodes options above. Click on the grey box alongside polygon 1, hold and drag your mouse cursor to the blue arrow alongside background 1 to make a connection. We will use this new background node to add colour to your explosion vector artefact. With background 1 selected and in left or right preview, go to inspector and underneath colour, double click on the box next to colour under background and go to add a vibrant red shade to what is going to be the outer section of your explosion shape. The hexadecimal code I've used here is hash FF4400. Click OK. Hold in Control or Command if you're a Mac user and select both the Polygon 1 and Background 1 nodes. Hold in Control and press G to group these. Now press F2 to rename this collection of nodes. In this example, I will call this Red. We will use this technique for organisational purposes on our Fusion Nodes grid throughout this tutorial. With the red group selected, go to add a merge tool, which should be automatically connected via the yellow background arrow. This will be important later on as we need the other colour shades to appear in front of the red. Select your red group, holding Ctrl and press C to copy. Deselect the group, holding Ctrl and press V to paste. Press F2 to rename this duplicated red group as Orange 1. And connect this new orange group to the green foreground arrow of Merge 1, so that this new colour that we will apply to our effect will appear in front of the red shade. Add two further Merge nodes, all connected via the yellow background arrows. And connect Merge 3 to Media Out 1, to apply this new image to your final Fusion Composition clip. Double click on the Orange 1 group, Click and drag from the side of this window so that we can see a third node that we will add which we can use to adjust the size of our new colour shade. First select the background node inside the orange 1 group. Go to inspector, double click on the background 1 label at the top under tools to see the properties if these don't initially appear. Double click on the colour box below background and go to increase the hue value to add a more vibrant orange shade. Here in this example, I will increase the value here from 16 to 30. Click OK. With background 1 still selected inside orange 1, click on the transform icon above the nodes grid. With the new transform node selected, under inspector, decrease the value for size slightly. Here in this example, I will adjust this from 1 to 0 0.8. If you find that the sides of this inner shape appear too close to or appear above those in the darker shade below, Ensure that left or right view is selected underneath Media Out 1. Select the relevant polygon tool and click to adjust the points of the polygon where necessary so that the outlines and colour shades of those in the background aren't obscured. Close the orange group box when you are done. With the orange group selected, holding Ctrl and press C to copy. Deselect this group, holding Ctrl and press V to paste. Press F2 to rename this group as Orange 2 and connect this new group to the green foreground arrow of Merge 2. Double click on the Orange 2 group, select Background, open up the background colour box once again 
and go to increase the hue value once again. Here in this example, I will increase this from 30 to 40. Now select Transform, and underneath Inspector, decrease the size value from 0.8 to 0.6. Again, like with the previous orange color shade, make adjustments by selecting the Polygon tool and dragging the points where necessary, so that all background shades and outlines can be seen. Close the Orange 2 group box. Ensure that Orange 2 is selected, holding Ctrl and press C to copy. Deselect the group. Press Ctrl and V to paste. Press F2 to rename the new group as Yellow. Connect the yellow group to the green foreground arrow of Merge 3. Double click on the yellow group. Select Background. Open up the Background color box once again. And this time I will increase the hue value to 52 to add a pale yellow shade to the inner section of the explosion. Select Transform. Reduce the size from 0.6 to 0.4. Make any necessary adjustments to the polygon shape using the relevant tool. Close the group and return to the edit window. In order to have the explosion pop up on screen, I will use the Transform properties inside the Inspector window. We will make the explosion shape expand from zero to its full size in a quarter of a second of screen time. By default, the frame rate for a Fusion Composition Clip in DaVinci Resolve is 24. With the Fusion Composition Clip selected, with your red playhead in place at the start of your clip, under Inspector, click on the keyframe diamond icon next to Zoom X and Y. Change the value from 1 to 0 in either X or Y. Hold in K and tap L six times to move six frames across your timeline, which will be the equivalent to a quarter of a second of screen time. Then increase the value to zoom X and Y depending on the full size that you wish the explosion to be at the end of its pop-up animation. Use position X to change the horizontal positioning of your explosion and Y for its vertical positioning. Rotation and flip options can also be applied inside the inspector window. Then click and drag the Fusion Composition clip to the relevant point on your timeline where you wish the explosion to be shown. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.